Ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody, I'm here today with Eva Stern, who is a fantastic violist and Pilates instructor. Today we're going to talk about having a great seated position and posture and how it applies to trombone playing. Sometimes I've noticed trombone players crouching and slumping and having their whole body movements be sympathetic to the slide arm. So none of that's good. And so we're going to counteract that by talking about good posture. So when thinking about a healthy seated position, a good place to start is just to feel yourself well balanced on your sits bones. And so if you have a wallet or a phone or anything in your back pocket, get that out of there. So then you're just feeling yourself hopefully on a nice flat chair. Mm -hmm. That's the best situation. And you're feeling yourself well balanced on the sits bones. Right. Now we get to think about what's the position of the pelvis. Think, why are we talking about that when the trombone is up here? Right, right. Well, because the position of the pelvis really affects the entire position of the back. Okay. So, we're going to do an exercise that involves moving the pelvis around a little bit and okay. see what happens to the back. Sure. Let's face each other. So, you can think of your pelvis as a bowl, like okay. it's this big bowl, and it's filled with water. Okay. And we're going to spill the water forward and back. So go ahead and just place your feet about hips width distance. All right. Put your hands at the top here on the bones. You're balanced on your sits bones. And then what we're going to do is just rock this way. So think of spilling the water over here, rocking your pelvis this way. Now spill the water backwards. So you're curling your pelvis under. It's like you're making yourself shaped like the letter C. And we're just rocking back and forth a few times. Oh. This, ah, yeah, oh, yeah. So this exercise, first of all, is just a nice warm up. It's a stretch. So can you feel how, when you spill the water backwards, how you get a little stretch in your low back? Yeah. Very nice, very nice. When you go this way, spilling the water forward. Now, so here, we're just warming things up here and feeling like what our range is right. in the pelvis. But now, pay attention to what's going on further up in the back. And notice when we spill the water backwards, curl the pelvis under, notice how there's a bit of a flexion going on here. Right. And then, when you spill the water forward, you come into more of an arched position in your back. Right. So, that, the implication for that when it comes to holding up the trombone is if you see that somebody, say, is slouching and the trombone is facing downwards, mm -hmm. then there's a good chance that there's something like this going on in the pelvis. The pelvis goes back like this, mm. trombone is down. Right. Same for viola or yeah. most instruments. Um, so just being aware of how you're balanced here makes such a big difference. Now, let's make this movement just a little bit bigger, partly mm -hmm. because it's a good feeling stretch, mm -hmm. and also because sometimes it's just easier to feel this when you do it bigger. Okay. And you're going to get the arms involved. So now, just have your arms hang by your side. Okay. When we spill the water this way, bring the arms forward like this in front of you, so you're really curled. And now, when you come the other way and spill, come into a bit of an extension. Can you feel the stretch across your chest? You're yes, looking yes. up a little bit. So this again, we're just finding range in our back, getting a stretch across the chest and through the arms. And this is a really lovely way, yes, exactly, that breath was good. And it's a great way to feel your arms connected to your back, which is so important right. for holding the instrument and doing the slide. But what's important with this exercise, too, for our purposes here, is to feel the motion generated from the pelvis. Right. So rather than it being generated from the, the arms right. and nothing's going on here, right. you curl here and feel how the arms follow through. So that helps build a really good integrated, strong posture that's right. not rigid and right. held, but just very strong. Right. So here I am with the trombone to show how these exercises apply while holding the instrument. And we're going to maintain stability and relaxation and good posture. So I have to say, Ken's posture with the instrument is excellent. What I think would be a fun experiment is to have you bring the instrument up, and then with it up, do a bit of the pelvic rocking that we did at first. And notice how just that motion here what that does to the level of the instrument. So this really is a great demonstration 
for how finding a solid, stable, neutral pelvic position is going to affect your instrumental position and also just the functioning of your right. shoulders and your breath. Excellent. Yeah. And also, as I said before, when you're moving your slide outwards, think about a straight line, not curling your shoulder over to get out to the extended positions of six and seven, but you're moving from right there. Mm -hmm. 